All right, so I'm pretty far up into the mountains here, uh, about 9,000, a little over 9,000 feet, and uh, at this town called Henson, um, like Jim Henson with the Muppets, Henson. And this is an old uh, silver and lead, I believe, mining camp. There's, there was two big mines here, and I don't know where they are. Oh, maybe up there. That looks like it might be up, it up there. Possibly. I really don't know. Yeah, they mined silver and lead between 1874 and 1903. I don't know what they mined after that, but uh, it says the mines were responsible for $12 million worth of minerals, and uh, just which is just under $300 million in today's money. So uh, it was a pretty good boom. At one time, this was a pretty big little town here. About a dozen homes. Oh, now there's about a dozen homes. There's a blacksmith shop, boarding house, offices, regular homes. Some interesting information here. It says living conditions were often deplorable in the Galena Mining District. It says miners often lived in company supplied boarding houses set up to close proximity to the mines. The houses were poorly built, drafty, and had leaky roofs. Still a bunch of old equipment and things like that laying around here. I don't know what that thing is. So you're free to walk around here and see everything, but it's, uh, you know, they don't want you going into the into the buildings and everything going off the trail but look inside there you can see the gears and most likely the motor that's kind of cool looks like an old gas motor that's the old head frame Kind of cool. Look at this, this is kind of cool. I like that. The real gem of this place is the, uh, the dam that's down below. And I, I don't know if I can get down to it or not. You can see it from above, but it has, uh, uh, it, I guess it, in 1970s, it, it burst, so they never fixed it. Uh, mining here pretty much ended sometime in the 1970s anyway. Very little. The, the boom was really way back in the early 1900s. Um, look at these big tanks. And you are up in the mountains up here, man. Below us is the Henson Creek, which is obviously what this town was named after and uh, who I think Henson was a, a traveler that explored this whole area way back in the day and um, this whole mining town was operated hydroelectrically by the dam that's down down below that I'm going to show you um, I don't know if I can get down to the dam but Look at that. Can you imagine spending the winter here? <laughs> Jeez. You can kind of peek in here a little bit. I'm not going to go in here because, like I said, it's a protected area and I believe there's a bunch of cameras, or they say there's a bunch of cameras in there. I mean, there's really not much in here. It's just a, you know. Oh, here's wide open window. So it's not really, kind of gives you an idea, but that's all there is. This is actually the coolest of all the places. Look at this, this old building. These shelves, that is cool. Man. 
Oh man, look at this door. How cool would it be to take this door and refinish it? <laughs> this looks like it was the wood, you know, like a shop or something like that. Love it. These old beams. You wonder how old those beams are. Very cool. All right, let's see. I don't know if this is marking a trail or saying they don't want you to go up here. I don't know. Oh, hazardous mines. I guess there's the mines are up here. There were there were two mines. Apparently, there are two mines to this this camp. Let's see here. All right. The mine shaft. Looks like that cable is there to hold this thing up from falling. Was this just a head frame? I don't even know, man. Oh, maybe the mine's over here. I really know nothing about mines. Mining. Oh, it's right here. Look at this. I got it blocked off. There you go. I don't have a light, unfortunately. Whew. Some brisk air. Pretty cool. Town's way down there. Look at this chipmunk. He is used to people feeding him. That is so funny. These chipmunks are all over. They're used to people feeding them, I guess. I have no food for you guys, sorry. All right, here's a good view of the uh, I wonder if that's an outhouse. That could definitely be an outhouse right there. It would make it easy to just, you know, have everything drop right into the creek. And look at that. I mean, that is a massive hole. To give you an idea, that's probably 30, 35 feet tall. All right. I, th I don't know if this was an outhouse or not. The chipmunks are following me. How funny is that? We're about to find out. Uh, I don't know. I guess it could have been. There is like a little... I, what else could this have been? Anyway, 
Look at that dam. Can you imagine being there when that thing blew apart? Oh, I see. It wasn't an outhouse. There was some sort of a pump or something in here because you could see the, the plumbing. You know, they were pumping this water up to, uh, you know, for the dams. Anyway, pretty crude build on that dam. Jeez. All right, so that's it for the Henson mining camp. Uh, I don't think there's, I think I pretty much showed you everything. But it's pretty cool. I can't, I, I've said this before, I can't imagine spending the, the winters way up here in the mountains. But I think the next one I'm going to, again, I don't know if that's going to be today or t tomorrow, which either way, you will not get it the same day. But uh, I think that's 11,000 and something feet, one of the highest mine mining camps all around maybe i have no idea i'll do some more research all right thanks for watching see you in the next video